As far as Viva Las Reyes de Therapsid Patagonia, this is, that means long live the kings of Therapsid Patagonia. This is pre-dinosaurs. Uh, this is uh, during the Permian uh, period or the late Triassic, I guess, yeah. Um, and I'm talking about them. The called Canamaria was, uh, I think, the crocodile-sized uh, therapsid. As the killers warmed to the moon fled, knowing this life bequest of the second chance is rare and brief, but that death offers none. Uh, and then we go Shonasaurs drying. So I go from death to the next one. Shonasaurs drying on Nevada and beaches. So this is about the. So now I'm talking about dinosaurs uh, and uh, these reptiles, the Shonasaurs that swam swam in the ocean. They weren't actually dinosaurs. And the idea, I think I saw something on uh, maybe Discover Magazine or something like that where a painter had painted uh, some dinosaurs on ancient inland seas. And so that's where that came from. It's dying mother. So, so this one basically, let's see, epicontinental moan, moan, etc. And so I have the baby crawling from beneath its belly. Uh, so the mother has died on the beach and a baby, life comes out and it's crawling back towards the wave feels the draw of the waves. So this is sort of like when you see, uh, you've seen like National Geographic where a giant tortoise or something swims onto a beach and buries 400 eggs or something. And then, you know, eight weeks later or something, you know, hundreds of these little turtles uh, make their way back to the sea and whatnot. And out of the 400, maybe only uh, 50 make it to the sea. And then after a year, only five are still living and then after 10 years by the time it's fully grown only one or two have made it um and so that th this is just putting that into a context that this stuff was going on you know 100 plus million years ago um so i i, I always enjoy doing that the next one is proto avis at the time i wrote this in the late 90s now this is this is an example of a poem proto avis was pot posited as the first bird uh, or dinosaur that was could have been called a bird before Archaeopteryx, but since then more discoveries have been made. But that's the first flight, and then I got like me and your love, grand Gondwanic skies cannot hear the cries of the stegosaur female. But I'm talking about Gondwana, which was a, an ancient uh, southern continent uh, that's been uh, identified uh, 100 to maybe a quarter of a billion years ago. And then the next one here is the Furial of Aerial Ancients, Ramphorinchi, uh, Allosaurs, the Ramphorinchus. If death is to be feared, then I have a young Allosaur male. So I have another Allosaur poem on the Brontosaur herd. Uh, the pack moves into the forum where his eye sees them, and a bird fell from the air. Well, this is, this is actually a really good poem here. This one, if death is to be feared, why did he notice the new? Because I'm, I'm, I'm giving a sort of sentience to the dinosaur with the young Allosaur male trying to kill something from the Brontus or her death for a thrill. The rest of the pack sits out this dance. And so you you have the Brontosaur and the Allosaur circling each other. And he goes in for the kill. No, it's a trap. Three bulls descend, an animal scream. And so the Allosaur ends up getting being killed by the Brontosaur bulls that stomp him, basically. And then and then we see the pack moves in on the fall. And so the Allosaur, the Allosaur pack moves in to kill one of their dead own. And then it says, and a bird fell from the air uh, where his eye sees him. So he sees death coming at him. And then he sees a bird somehow falling from the sky. As life goes on, death goes on. This Allosaur in his last glimpse sees a bird fall from the sky. And so we have this very existential moment between uh, that involve seemingly non-sentient characters. And so that's really that's really a, one of my best uh, dinosaur poems there, even though you didn't mention that one. But uh, uh, and that, and then I have something like I fall of the gymnosperms, which were pre uh, flower bearing trees, and then I have a rise of the angiosperms a little bit later on. So I mean, what other what other poet writes something about you know the rise of the angiosperms? 